discussion on machine learning to predict myocardial infarction and cardiovascular death. Machine learning has been used to predict the long term risk of myocardial infarction and cardiac death in a study published in Cardiovascular Research from the European Society of Cardiology. Please subscribe to this channel for future updates. Click on the subscribe button. Press the bell icon after that for all updates. It was a prospective study using clinical parameters, coronary artery calcium scoring and automatic epicardial adipose tissue quantification. The study included 912 asymptomatic persons from Eisner trial with long term follow up after coronary artery calcium scoring. Epicardial adipose tissue is a metabolically active fat deposit which has been shown to relate to early atherosclerosis. Fully automated multitask convolutional neural network deep learning technique was used to quantify epicardial fat from the CT images of calcium scoring. Extreme gradient boosting machine learning was trained with clinical covariates, plasma lipid panel measurements, risk factors, coronary artery calcium scores, aortic calcium and automated epicardial adipose tissue measures. Machine learning technique could predict events better than atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease risk score and coronary artery calcium score in this study. Myocardial ischemic injury index or MI3 index is a machine learning algorithm which has been developed and tested to predict the likelihood of developing acute myocardial infarction. It used simple easy to collect variables age, sex and paired high sensitivity cardiac troponin I concentrations. Initial troponin estimation was at presentation and second one between 1 to 3 hours later. Their training set had data from over 3000 patients and it was tested on data from about 8000 patients with suspected myocardial infarction. A technique called gradient boosting was used to compute a value between 0 and 100 to reflect the likelihood of the person to have a diagnosis of type 1 myocardial infarction. It also estimates the sensitivity, negative predictive value, specificity and positive predictive value for the individual. This was an international collaborative study involving 11,011 patients from 9 countries. Here are a couple of relevant journal references. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates. Thank you.